Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with .NET Core on Linux. Our viewer is trying to implement ECDSA signing for sending push notifications to Apple via their HTTP2 APNS endpoint. However, they're running into a roadblock when it comes to loading the encryption key in a Linux Docker environment. Let's dive into the details of their question. Welcome back to another tech video. Today, I'm gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To address the issue of signing JWT tokens in .NET Core on Linux, we need to understand the platform differences. The CNG class is specific to Windows and is not supported on Linux. Instead of using CNG key, we can utilize the ECDSA class available in .NET Core, which is cross-platform. First, ensure you have the necessary libraries installed. Next, let's modify the sign ES256 method. We will import the private key using the ecdsa.create method, which is compatible with Linux. Now, we can sign the JWT token using the ECDSA instance. This will allow us to generate the signature without encountering platform-specific issues. Finally, remember to test your implementation in the Linux Docker environment to ensure everything works as expected. This approach should resolve the platform compatibility issue. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. ECD is a Windows specific ECDSA implementation and isn't supported on Linux. For cross-platform ECDSA signing in .NET Core, you can use ecdsa.create and import your private key parameters. Converting PKCSMAR8 to EC parameters can be complex, but it's necessary. You can find examples and breakdowns online to help with this conversion. Here's a sample PKS number 8 blob breakdown. It includes sequences and object identifiers for the curve name, which you need to validate and extract the public key coordinates. The bit string at the end represents the public key. It starts with 04, indicating an uncompressed point, which allows you to derive the X and Y coordinates. You can create EC parameters using the curve OID and the extracted coordinates. This method is compatible with NIST P256 and other key sizes. For different key sizes, you can build a manual extractor or read our data live. Alternatively, consider serializing your private key in a more user-friendly format. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To perform ECD signing in .NET Core on Linux, ensure your private key length exceeds 31 bytes. You'll need to encode the X and Y coordinates from the key. Here's a code snippet to get the elliptic curve algorithm using your private key. 
It involves creating key parameters and normalizing the EC point. After obtaining the elliptic curve algorithm, you can generate a JUT token. Use the ECDC security key and specify your signing credentials. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.